Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your tutor, Mr. Wleng. So I want us to go through um, questions uh, that came in 2020, Mathematics Paper 2, for external candidates. And this question is coming from Earth Geometry. So the question reads, the diagram below shows three points P, Q, and R on the surface of the Earth. So as you can see, this is the diagram. This is the model of the Earth, which is showing the points P, Q, and R. Okay? So take pi to be 3.142, and the radius of the Earth should be 370. So take note of that. Okay? They are saying your pi, the value of the pi should be 3.142, and the radius of the Earth should be 6,370 kilometers. Okay? So, we start with question Roman number one. Calculate the difference in the longitudes between P and R carrying two marks. Okay? Then, we start with question one. Then, we go to question two, which is given that the distance between P and D, Q on latitude X, the distance between P and Q on this uh, latitude, latitude X, is what? 4,392.07. Uh, 079611 kilometer. Calculate the value of what? X. So, let's see how we can answer question 1. Alright, so uh, let's now answer Roman number 1. They want you to find the difference in the longitude between P and R. So, your point P is right here, you can see, which is lying on this longitude, 55 degrees west. Okay? So, the longitude for P is... 55 degrees west, okay? Then the longitude for R, where is point R? This is where your point R is. It's lying on this longitude, which is 24 degrees, 24 degrees east. So they want you to find the difference in longitude between P and Q. So to find the difference in longitude between point P and Q, look at their longitudes. P is lying on west, R is lying on what? East. So if they are lying on different sides of the, the meridian you're supposed to do what to add so you just say 55 plus 24 okay this will give you what 79 this is the difference in longitude between p and r so we proceed you go to roman numeral two all right so uh, we have now come to roman numeral two we are answering question two Remember the questions? Remember the questions? The questions were written on the board. So the question reads, given that the distance between P and Q, the distance between P and Q, okay? The distance between P and Q, okay? On latitude X, this latitude X, because this is a line of latitude. So the distance between P and Q on latitude X, okay? They have given you that. The distance between P and Q on latitude X, the value is given to you, which is 4,000, 392 point so you have to make sure that you take note of this point is zero seven nine six nine six one one okay kilometers they have given you the distance between point p and q which is lying on latitude x degrees north so the question is calculate x they want you to find the value of this word, x. So you can see the distance, which is uh, P and Q, it's along the line of what? Latitude, okay? It's along the line of latitude. So in order for you to find the value of x, assume that you are finding the distance along the line of what? Latitude for point P, Q. So you say, you come up with a formula. Your formula will be P, Q. The distance between P, Q is equal to uh, theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r cos x because this is the distance along the line of what latitude not so it's the distance along the line of who? latitude so this is our formula so we're just going to compute where there is pq this is the distance and you have been given this is the value of the distance so where there is pq just write that value which is 4,392.079611, equal to. So, what is this theta? 
okay what is this theta so it's between p and q so the theta will be the difference in longitudes okay so p is lying on this longitude 55 and the q is lying on this longitude which is what 24 not so so here you are just going to add 55 plus 24 and your answer will be a 79 over 360 times 2 times 3.142 okay so let me just write it here nicely so it's going to be 4392.079611 equal to 79 over 360 times 2 times 3.142 times cos x so here on cos x this is the value that you want for x not so i hope it's clear so what you do is multiply these okay so that you make it a single fraction on the right hand side so let's see how we can proceed okay all right so what you are going to do is just multiply 79 times 2 times 3.142 times i think there's something that is missing on our formula there was two pi r okay so meaning the radius of the earth is missing on this formula so let's just say uh it, so it's supposed to be like this 43 9 equal to so remember what I've said here that the radius of the earth is missing. So let's just say we put it here, which was the three, seven, it was missing. Take note of that. So here times this radius of the earth. So we multiply 79 times 2 times 3.142 times 63 seven, which is the radius of the earth, times cos x. Now this one for cos x, we don't have the angle for x here. So just multiply this, 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 and that. So we say... 79 times 2 point times 2 times 3.142 as i'm multiplying make sure that you are also punching times 63 70 okay so that we get the same value so this is the value that i'm getting uh 3162 Two nine seven point three two. So here I'll say cos x over okay three hundred and sixty. So make sure that you are also punching on your calculator, okay? Because I might make a mistake here. So seventy nine times two times three point one four two times this radius of the earth, which is in kilometers. So from here, this is a fraction, even this one divide by 1, then you do this, you cross multiply, not so. So this one times this, you're just going to have that value, which is uh, 3162 297.32, okay? Cos x equal to, so multiply this times this. So, I will simplify things here. 360, you get your calculator because this is paper 2. So, 360 times 43, 92.07911. Okay. So, it's giving me this value, 158, 0.48 okay that is the value you are having so you want to find the value of x so it means this side you are going to divide by this number okay you divide by this number so that on the left hand side we only remain with what the cos so this and this will cancel not so this and that will cancel Okay, so you remain with cos x equal to. So remember, here you divided with this. 
with three one six two two nine seven point three two so this is what you have right there okay so you simplify that side where you say that number for me it's already on my calculator so i'll just divide with that with, with that value okay i'll just say divide okay then i'll write that number which is uh, three one six three one six two two nine seven point three two okay so this is the answer that i'm getting zero point four nine 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 okay nine nine okay so we have how many nines one two three four five six one two three four five six yeah the nines are supposed to be six then four three okay so after doing that after doing that now you are going to say therefore x we are going to find the cost inverse of this x is equal to cost inverse of 0 0.4123456 okay so for me i already have this uh, figure on my calculator so i'm just going to press shift then cost inverse of this so shift okay shift cost inverse Okay, shift cos inverse. I'm getting this. X is equal to 60 degrees. This is your answer. Okay, so it's giving 0.000377. Now, uh, if you round it off to one decimal place to be 0, .0 so just write 60 degrees. This was the value of what? Of X. So make sure that you go through as well, you check. I might make a mistake, as you can see, I made a mistake at first. I forgot the, the radius of the earth, but I realized and I put it there. So make sure that you follow through, you calculate nicely, so that you come up with the, the correct value. But for me, this is the correct value. Let's now proceed to the last question. All right, so we have now come to the last question, which is Roman numeral 3. Calculate the distance QR. On the longitude 24 degrees east so qr this is where your q is okay your r is right there so they want you to find the distance along the line of what longitude so you can see that point q and r they are lying on the same longitude okay so you are going to find the distance along the line of what longitude so first thing come up with the formula where you say the distance of qr is equal to theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So this r is the radius of the earth. Now find the theta. Okay. What is the value of this theta? So if q and r, they are lying on the same longitude. It means that we can find the difference in e longitude. Okay. Sorry, in e latitude for p, for q and r. So this q is lying on longitude what? What is the longitude which is here? We have found that it was what? 60 degrees if you remember okay so q is having the longitude 60 degrees which is north then r is lying on 60 degrees what south the longitude sorry the latitude latitude 60 degrees south then q lying on latitude 60 degrees north so different uh you can see north south they are different so just add 60 plus 60 degrees which will give you 120 degrees so where there is theta, you're going to replace with 120 degrees. So you say QR is equal to 120 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 times pi. They told you that is 3.142 times radius of the earth. It's this one that we are given, 6370. So I write 6370. So uh, I've seen a lot of students, they make mistake of putting again 24 degrees is no they are just indicating to you that they are lying on the same longitude which is 24 so there's no need for you to put 24 in the theta they are supposed to work it out okay by finding the difference in the latitudes like what we have done so from here you say qr is equal to so this is the paper two there's no need for you to stress get a calculator 
and multiply 120 times 2 times 3.142 times 370. After multiplication, then you can divide by 360. Okay, so you are saying 120 times 2 times 3.142 times the radius of the earth, which is 370. Okay, so for me, I've gotten uh, this value. I don't know if you are able to see it. I've gotten this value. So this value that I've gotten, I know that I'm going to divide with 360. Okay, that's what I do. So, so that's what I would do so that I come up with the, the value. Okay, so this then divide by 360. Okay, so it's giving me this value. Okay, so it's giving me... Uh, 13 133 3, Now, what is our final answer? What is our final answer? So you say, therefore, your QR, okay? Remember, you're supposed to leave your answer correct to three significant what? Figures if the instructions are not stated on the question. So the three significant figures would be one, three, one, three, and th these three will make it three. Now this number which is behind the three, it's a four, which is less than five. So it's a zero. Okay? Immediately we spot this. Automatically this one also becomes a what? A zero. So zero plus three, it will be just three. Then here you write zero and this zero. Okay? So kilometers, because the radius of the earth was in kilometers. So this is our distance between point Q and D R. So we are done answering this question. Thank you so much everyone for having time to view this content. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to also uh, invite your friends to come and learn uh, the content that we usually post on the page.